What used to be an old county fairground has turned into one of the premier places for the East Coast for horse shows. The dollars and cents prove it. Here's Aaron Calandra. The Grange Fair has invested millions of dollars into the horse industry and it's paying off in a big way, not just here locally, but across the state. And they say it's a business that's only growing. This isn't the same old Grange Fair. The Pennsylvania Quarter Horse Association has about 2,500 people and about 635 horses here just this week for their largest show of the year. This show will put approximately $1.4 million into the local economy, but a total economic impact of $2.8 million. That's one show. Grounds General Manager Darlene Confer says the American Quarter Horse Association, the world's largest breeder of horses, uses a formula to get that number. This is all based on statistics. But the Grange hasn't always raked in millions of dollars into the local and regional economy. It all started a few years ago when they landed a million dollar state grant and built this state of the art indoor arena. And now they're adding a new barn. PQHA's Rita McMullen says these grounds are now the premier place to show a horse on the East Coast. When you're spending the kind of money that we do just to show your horse, you want to be able to show them and you want to have the best conditions. And it's pretty hard to beat the conditions here at Center Hall. McMullen is involved with bringing Ag Secretary Russell Redding here Thursday night. He understands the economic development of equine in Pennsylvania. In fact, they expect this year or next the equine could surpass the dairy industry in Pennsylvania. Because of our brutal winters, the shows only run spring through fall, but Comfort says soon this place will be pumping money into the economy all year round. In Center Hall, Erin Calandra, 6 News.